So guys, this is a follow-up video to my running my air conditioner on deep cycle batteries. For this test, I am using the same batteries and we will review that in a few minutes. But the difference now is I went out and bought a GE 5500 BTU air conditioner. The reason I got this is because the um, wattage is lower or should be lower. So if there's the serial number. And if you look down, um, 115 volts, 4 amps, 5500 BTUs, and the EER is 12.2. So, I have a couple things I want to point out before I start this. I'm also running a time-lapse video on another camera, and I don't know if that video you're going to be able to see everything, but there should be, and I never turned this on yet, this air conditioner, but I'm hoping that right here will tell you the temperature of the air conditioner. Uh, I have a watt meter hooked up so we can look at things like... Um, wattage, voltage, amperage. And here I have a clock. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but I'm going to reference all these. Uh, I'm hoping to start the test at 11 o'clock. Uh, right now it's 1058. I don't know if you can see that. And I, over here I have a cheap, uh, I guess I would call it uh, 12 volts to 80 volts DC to USB, but it also is a voltmeter. Now, I think some of those Believe it or not, I only used this once, but these two leftmost digits have a have a, a, a one of the elements burned out. So it might be hard to tell when it gets down. Like it would be hard to tell between 26 and 25, um, uh, and it may be hard to tell some other numbers. But I figured I'd put that up there so we could actually see the voltage at the battery. So really, what this does is this. Wires go right back to the battery, and while we're on the battery, we might as well talk about it. So, these are what I'm using, L16 GACs. They are, let me see if I'm going to have to spin the camera around to get you the, they're 6 volt batteries, and 320 amp hours at 5 hours. So, what I have these in is series, so I have positive and a negative and the negative goes to the positive of the next battery and then when you follow it over here the negative from this battery goes to the positive over here and then the negative over here goes to the positive over here and then if I pull back a little bit there's your positive there's your negative and that's what that little voltmeter is hooked up to so I charged the batteries last night uh, so they should have close to 100% charge. Um, I'm not going to do the specific gravity. I did that last night and uh, it was very good. All, ba all four batteries were very good. And I will tell you, these batteries are from, gee, I want to say 2013. So we're, we're 2018 now. So they're uh, every bit of five years old. Uh, I've only deep cycled them really once or twice. Uh, and I pretty much just keep them always topped off and check the water. So uh, it'll be a good test for the batteries as well, uh, how, how long this is going to run. But my last test on my 8000 BTU, I think I got four hours out of it, and I only drained down 30 to 35 percent of my battery. So uh, if this only uses 375 to 400 watts, which is what I'm hoping, it draws then uh we should be able to pull somewhere around i don't know seven eight hours before i feel like uh, i'm gonna hit 50 percent of uh the battery drain but i again it's a test and i have no idea but um, the reason i have all this hooked up is no one thinks that i'm i'm trying to fool anyone uh with this but with these batteries, I think I calculated it out, uh, I should be able to at least get uh, seven hours out of this, uh, possibly longer. So anyway, uh, just to show you that there's nothing going on here, I couldn't plug the air conditioner right into the watt meter because this, this element here blocked the screen by the way it was orientated. So I'm gonna pull back a little bit. The air conditioner goes into the orange cord. There's no tricks going on here. And then the orange cord goes into the watt meter 
And then from the watt meter, it goes into the Xantrex Pure Sine Wave Inverter. And just so you know, this is a 1800 watt Pure Sine Wave Inverter, 24 volts DC, because that's how my battery configuration is. I have six, plus six, plus six, plus six to give me 24 volts. It's actually a little more than 24 volts. You can, you can see that right now. So uh, we're looking at 25.5, 25.6 uh, on the volts before we begin. So enough talking. What we're going to do, I never used the air conditioner before, so you're going to have to bear with me uh, when I first turn this on and uh, get it in a mode that uh, I don't want in an energy saver mode because I, I want, uh, I don't know if you can see energy saver, I just want it to be on all the time uh, so that the compressor doesn't shut off. That way we'll have a test uh, of the, the best way that I know um, that it would last the longest time, or I should say the shortest time. It would use the most energy. Now if I put it on energy saver, obviously it's going to last longer because the compressor will cycle on and off. But I want it to stay on because I want to see the best case scenario, how long this will last. So, and again, uh, this could be a fail because this is the first time I'm, I hooked everything up and, and turned it on with this new air conditioner. But the first step is, is um, I already hooked the inverter up to the battery and now I'm gonna turn the power on to the inverter. Okay. So the inverter come on, 24 volts, 120 hertz, power savings is off and I actually just kicked on the air conditioner, which is okay. So it's on energy saver mode, and I'm going to turn it on cool, and we're going to put the fan on high. I have not heard the compressor kick on yet. I think I just heard it. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Okay, I thought I just heard it. It's actually kind of quiet. So, there you see, 323 watts. Folks, that's not a lot of wattage right there. Compared to what my other one was, it's definitely a uh, half. And if you can see my voltage, it sits at 24.2, 24.3 up here. And again, 308 watts, 309 watts. I'm gonna go ahead and let this run for a while. So, start at around 11 o'clock. Maybe we'll check on it at 11.30 just to see if that temperature uh, has dropped any. It it's actually feels somewhat cooler. Good feet. 59, if you can see that, 59, 58. It was definitely 57. It's going down. All right, we'll check back in on it. Okay, guys, here we are, 12.02. So the first hour has expired. And let's take a look at our system, see how we're doing. Time lapse is still running. It's still 24.2. You can see the clock. That's 12.03. Um, 382 on. Hopefully you can see that. 382 on the kilowatt. 57. 56, 55. Okay, so I guess it is. Um, So far, so good. You know, the only comments that I have after the first hour here is that the battery voltage pretty much stayed the same on 24.2. And I think if you look at any of the charts, the battery temperature, I'm sorry, the battery voltage under load at 90% state of charge is, I think, 24. So, it appears that the batteries are operating as if they were full or very close to full and they apparently um, seem to be good 
because they're holding the voltage of 24.2 for an hour now at this point. Okay, so we'll come back in another hour. Okay guys, this is the completion of two hours. Okay, so here we are. Batteries, just completed two hours. 24.1, 24.2, mostly 24.1. Um, at the inverter, 24 wattage, 387. The setting is 78. Uh, it's extremely humid and warm out today. And the air feels about the same. Just go ahead and take a temperature of it. On the other side, 58, 7. So we can see that the air conditioner is still running. Again, this is the completion of hour two. Good news is, is the batteries are holding tight. Doing really good at 24.1. I guess I can flip, not that this really matters, but I guess I could show you the voltage. Um, it should be 116 to 120. So you can see the voltage is at 119. Put it back on wattage, 384. Again, over here on the inverter, it says it's 24 volts, 16 amps. And up above, 24 one at the battery. So, all right, check in again in another hour. All right, we are just finished hour three. See, it's two o'clock, it is 83 degrees outside. And looks like we're still time-lapse recording. So let's go take a look and see where we're at here. Okay, voltage over here is between 24.1 and 24, which is really good. Uh, you can see the time, two o'clock. Wattage 395, slightly going up. Uh, down here on the inverter 23.9, 18 amps. So, come up here 81 on the air conditioner. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. So the air conditioner is churning away. You can actually see some water down in there. So you can definitely see the air conditioner is doing its job. I uh, just want to show you something. Hopefully I can get this. This here is a um, Fluke 336 clamp meter. And one thing that it does is it can tell you what the AC amperage is and the DC amperage. So what I want to show you here is something that the amperage going from the battery to the inverter should be slightly higher than the amperage that the inverter's uh, recording what it's using. And the reason that is, is it's because of, you know, the efficiency loss that you have from the actual inverter converting electric from the batteries to AC household electric. And some of these rates go from cheaper ones can go from, I guess, 70 some percentage efficiency. Some of the better ones are, you know, 80 to 90 some percent efficient. But you do have some efficiency losses. Uh, when you're using an inverter. So just wanted to point that out. And we're gonna to try to take a look at that. So if you look on here, we're gonna zero out the DC amps. And then what I'm gonna do is just attach to the negative side. And you can see, see the 18.8, 18.9, it's almost 19. We'll just go on the other. I don't wanna to mess too many things up here. Almost the same. 
Okay, the re what I wanted to show you is that it'll be slightly higher. Oh, messed that up, didn't I? It'll be slightly higher, like I said, to, due to the efficiency loss. So, just wanted to call that out that you do lose you do lose a little bit when you have an inverter in there. Not much, but uh, depending on the inverter. So, again, we've, we've successfully went through three hours of running the air conditioner, and this is a GE 5500 watt, I'm sorry, 5500 PTU air conditioner, and battery voltage really was not that much lower than the last hour. So, batteries are holding steady. Just gonna fuel the wires, uh, they feel fine. And again, you know, uh, I think that's a, I can't remember, I think it's a 10 gauge wire. And remember, it's 24 volts, not 12 volts. So you can run thinner wires um, with a higher rated uh, voltage inverter. So, it, you know, 24 volts, if I had a 48 volt inverter, I could even use a thinner wire. But uh, some of you may be looking to say, well, why, why are the wires so thin? How's that even possible? But again, remember, we're only running three to 400 watts through this inverter. If I had 1800 watts going through, I would have to you know, run the calculator just to see how thick of a wire I would need for the full 1800 watts. I probably would need to go to a six gauge or something and even put in a fuse at that point just to, just to make sure I don't have any problems. That's it for this uh, hour. Hey guys, it's three o'clock, 84 degrees outside. We just finished hour four, okay? Let's take a look. Ooh, okay, 23.9. 23, 8, 3 o'clock, 394 watts, we're using right now, air conditioner is 81, um, let's see if I can show you the watt hours, okay, so, we used 1.49 kilowatts, 1.50 kilowatts. So that would be almost indicative of 400 watts or so, give or take, over the time frame that we ran, which is four hours. So four hours times 400, you know, 300, I don't even know what it is. Three, it fluctuates between 360, 380, 390. So you take that times four hours and that's how much energy we've used, 1.50 kilowatt hours. So that seems to be in line with using 391 watts an hour, give or take, plus or minus. Okay, so again, 23.9 on the batteries, pretty good shape. If you remember on the 8,000 watt unit, the B, I'm sorry, 8,000 BTU unit, at the four hour mark, I think we were at 23.2 on the batteries so and I was getting a little worried at 23.2 so and 23.2 was only I think 30% drain on the batteries so I think I had 70% of the batteries left so you can see we're we're in pretty good shape uh, air feels about the same so again we're shooting about average the air conditioner is definitely running you can tell it's with the temperature's been for the first four hours, you know, hour one, hour two, hour three, and hour four. It's about and again in another hour. Hey guys, hey look, it's four o'clock. We just completed hour five. And let's see where we are. Time lapse is still going. Voltage just went down. 
So we're sitting at 23.6, 23.7 on the batteries. 4 o'clock p.m. 3.95 in our wattage. There's the inverter. 81. Let's take so the air is still on, still running. So, sitting pretty good at 23.7, 23.6. Remember, again, before I went down to 23.2 with the, with the 8,000 BTU. So, feeling pretty good where it's at. We're five hours in. And we're going to keep going. We'll check in next hour. Okay, guys, it's 5 o'clock. Guess this would be six hours into it. Meaning... We completed hour number six. And... You'll see our voltage is 23.6, which is good. 23.4 down there. Clock says 5 o'clock. Wattage is at 4.02. The wattage is creeping up a bit. That's interesting. Uh, 83 on the thermostat. And still blowing cool there. It's still putting out 55 degree air. Degree. I guess I should hold it there to see how low it goes. Now you can see here, I'm not exactly sure what an air conditioner is supposed to put out, but. 47 degrees. Anyway, holding tight, everything looks good. 23.6, 400 watts. Check in next hour. Still going. Okay, we just finished. It's 6 p.m. Just finished our seventh hour. All right. The power bank I have is down three bars, but the camera's still running. All right. Now we're starting to get down a little low, which is good. So we're 23.4, 23.3. Over here, we're 23.2, 23.3. 402 watts. some light so I don't know how our time-lapse video is gonna work as it gets darker here but I will still come out every hour and I think the goal is when I get to nine hours uh, I'm probably gonna shut it down because uh, according to my math I should be able to get between 9.5 and 10 hours before I hit 50% of the battery. I think nine hours would be a good proof uh, of concept that this works. Uh, I don't even sleep nine hours in a day at night, so uh, nine hours would be fine running the air conditioner on battery for nine hours. And uh, the batteries will also be in a safe place. So, meaning, I don't think I'll be dipping below 50%. So, again, we're working on hour number eight at this point, at six o'clock. So, I 
we'll check in in another hour. Okay, here we are, 6.58, it's almost 7 o'clock, and this is eight hours that we successfully made it through, and you can see we're on 23.2, 20, it's jumping between 23.3, 23.2, I saw a 23.1, down here it's 23, back down to 3.88 on the wattage, because it's cooled down a little outside. It's actually down to 82. And let's take a peek here. So we're still in the 50s there. Uh, I want to see if I can see the watt hours real quick. Technically, that should be 8 times 400, which is, I don't even know, 3.2 kilowatts, give or take. Let's see. Yep, 3.07 kilowatts. My rough estimate of 3.2 wasn't that far. So that's, again, about 400 watts for 8 hours. And you can see we're on 388. Again, over here, you can see that. Voltage 23.2, So, you can see that the battery that's driving the time lapse is still on. And, like I said, I'm probably going to drive it one more hour to get nine hours in. And I'm going to shut it off only because it'll be, I think, nine o'clock at no, oh, sorry, it'll be eight o'clock at night and uh, start to take things apart around 8 o'clock tonight. But as you can see, things are going really well. Batteries are looking good and uh, it's working. Okay, folks, here it is. It's 8 p.m. And this concludes our ninth hour of running is 5500 BTU air conditioner on a 24 volt battery bank. Let's go in and take some final readings here. So we're sitting at 23, between 23 and 23.1, which is really good. Down here, you can see that, but it's 22.9. Um, 378. 79 on the watts. So we might as well do a final kilowatt hour. 3.47, which is exactly what I would figure for running nine hours. Air conditioner says 78, and yeah, might as well just do our final test here. Uh, just showing you that the air conditioner is still running, blowing cold air. We're just going to shut everything off. So, uh, going to hit the power button. Okay. Instantly the battery went up to 23.6. And we're going to shut off the inverter. And what I'm going to do is... I really suspect that to bounce back up to 24 something, 24 between 24.2 and 24.4 would be my guess. I'm sorry, I don't know what I said, it's getting late. 24.2 and 24.4 is going to be my guess. And it's going to take a little bit of time to come back up. So what I'm going to do is just leave the time lapse running. And I'm gonna check the batteries, I would say probably in an hour, just to see what that voltage stabilizes at. It's already up to 23.8, as you can see. So, 
what we'll do in an hour is we'll come back in and we'll do a um, specific gravity just to see where where those sit and then we will also see where the voltage uh, is again I'm hoping it jumps up to 24.2 24.4 somewhere in there would represent well actually that would be good if it got to 24.2 or 24.4 I remember uh, last time I think it was a 24 six and that was uh, 70 percent that I took the battery down so I'm gonna guess I took the batteries down somewhere to 60 percent 50 percent at the lowest um, and that's just a guess at this point but again uh, it's 803 we'll come out around 9 and we'll do a final check on specific gravity and voltage Okay, so it's still sitting at 23.8. All right, we'll check back in. I'm gonna just, just move the air conditioner and it's starting to rain outside. I'm gonna shut the garage door so you might see that on the time lapse. Okay guys, here we are, 9 p.m. And I'm gonna go ahead and just shut down the time lapse. So, I'm gonna go ahead and stop that. Uh oh. Kind of scares me. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> anyway, there is probably our final number. I mean, it may go up slightly from there, but it's sitting at 24.1. And what I'm going to do now is. <clears throat> See if we can do this with one hand. And if you look, looks like something like 1225 when I took the number 1200 and 1225. 1200 and I don't have my chart in front of me to reference what 1200 is but um, 1200 it said it was fair on this chart but I can't remember on my specific gravity chart what percentage that is that one's a little lower yeah 1150 so we definitely depleted the batteries and we're probably gonna have to equalize the batteries because that was a little bit different from the other one. Let me see if I can go into this one over here. I don't know how much of this you could actually see on the video. Yeah, that one's down pretty good too. 1150. And again, I'm not 100% sure if the specific gravity would go up if I waited longer or not. Don't remember. Okay, trying to get that one. That one's uh, 12. Okay, so we had some 1150, 1150, 12. Ah, darn it. And I just dropped it. But um, this will conclude the test. Thank you for watching.